we have ended up with these. It's gonna be a late night. And so he's like, just stay at mine. I was like, mm, okay. I'm just nervous. Can I please get a medium quarter pounder meal, please? Oh my God, the website is ready. <laughs> I'll link this as well. Happy Friday and welcome to the weekly vlog. We are back and I believe this week it's gonna be an exciting one. So I'm excited to take you along. I just woke up, I need a coffee, and we're gonna to head to the gym. Franklin also says, hello, this is our channel. <laughs> Looking very handsome today, Frank. Mm, perfect, always. I definitely wanna film some more workout videos, but because I started the new program this week, I'm just getting the hang of it. And so what I like to do is maybe in like the second or third week, I start to film some of it. and post it to TikTok to like share my workouts and give people inspo or ideas but yeah it's always hard the first week because I kind of feel like sometimes there's new exercises in there and then I'm like fuck am I doing them properly is my form okay and I never want to post like poor form on the internet because firstly someone could hurt themselves if they copy my poor form and secondly everyone on the internet loves to tell you how to do things in the gym <laughs> we just try to work smarter <sighs> exercise in my program. It is this exercise that I've not done for a little while and then I'll send a video to my coach and he can check it and then I know how to do it for the following week. It's a half kneeling single arm um, lat pull down. I feel like I can do this. Out in the garden having brekkie in the sunshine now. I'm going to quickly walk Franklin after this, do some work and then my nail appointment's not until 12 so I've got a bit of time to kill so I might watch next Friday's podcast episode because I'm one ahead. So happy. Also, I probably need to get my sunnies because I can't even see you. <laughs> Very happy and handsome after our walk. How many walks have you had this week? We're back in routine, buddy. All right, mommy's gonna jump in the shower now. Dressed, makeup, I'm just on the computer doing some work. I realized I need to wash my bed sheets. It's gonna be some nice weather tomorrow and the day after, so maybe I get to it then. In my defense, I did sleep in the Gold Coast for Thursday, Friday, Saturday, three nights. So really it's probably been like a week and four days since I changed them, I think. Whatever, I've been busy. I will do it though. Here's my fit, I'll quickly show you before I get back into it. I've got my little denim jacket, shirt, jacket, jacket, and then the jewels. I'm gonna be wearing the shit out of these and I also have my earrings on as well, one of them. And then here is the bottoms. I got the cargoes on and that and i'll probably see you next when we're with vicky on our way we're saying goodbye to these you know what they actually didn't grow that much i reckon i've come a week early than what i usually would but i'm happy to have some brightness again i really didn't know what i wanted to get so we have ended up with these i'm gonna flip the camera around i feel like they're very cute maybe not for everybody but i just really wanted the stars these weren't even in the inspo pics that i was like deciding from it's like a very milky base and then we've got the pink stars and the little gems all the way through. I'm happy. And Vicky also got me a little birthday present. She's so cute. I'm going to cry. She's actually the cutest. I'm hungry now. So I'm like, do we go and make a bagel or do we buy something? I don't know. Hi, can I please get a medium quarter pounder meal, please? Can I get a Sprite no sugar? In the burger, could I please have the small onions instead of the big onions? And can I have a sweet and sour sauce, please, as well? That's all, thank you. I couldn't wait. I had to. And excited for the quarter pounder to not have big onions. <laughs> mm, I didn't have Maccas at all last week. That's wild. Too many bagels. Asking for... The small onions is the way. Trust me. Oh my god. I missed Macca's. So much. Mum, here's my nails. Shiny, shiny. <laughs> Are they gorgeous? Do you love them? Yes. Aren't they so cute? That's that's you. I want to go to her. You ditched me for your mum. He's in my hoodie, guys. <laughs> <laughs> He's been all over me this afternoon. I don't know why. It's cold. Maybe. Very fluttering ankle. <laughs> I want to tell you I did work this afternoon, but I didn't. As soon as I got home, I laid on my bed. Franklin laid on me. 
and then I couldn't move because he was comfortable. So I was trapped there. And now it's five o'clock and I'm going to Coles. We're having pitas tonight with some meat. We need to make a Greek salad. Top up of the coffee and I bought two packets of pods. Look at our dinner tonight. Yummy. Delicious. This looks better than the last time we made it. Mm, Thanks. Wow, that time was beautiful too. Yeah, it was alright. I think the meat's better this time. Delish. We had the most chill Friday night. I showered and I put this, it's like meant to be a moisturizer, but you can use it as a spot treatment. I didn't add for La Roche per se for it. It's the B5 cream. Do you know the mask that I put in the monthly favorites? It's the cream version. It's I've been using it as like a night moisturizer, but I'm trialing it as a spot treatment because I pick this pimple. Anyway, that's as busy as my Friday night gets, but little Frank and I are gonna go to sleep. I also don't remember the last time he slept in his own bed. I just realized that right now. <laughs> anyway, we can work on his routine this week as well, but good night, I'll see you tomorrow morning. Happy Saturday, good morning. I've already had a coffee. I'm wide awake, I'm ready to go. We are gonna head to the gym and do a workout. I am going to be a little bit ahead of my program because I don't necessarily need to go today, but I feel good. And I had a really, really nice sleep. It's a bit gloomy at the moment, but I think the sun will come out because we have a date to go to, which I'm really excited about. We are wearing this pink set today. I need to charge the camera. It's on 1%. So you won't be coming to the gym today. It was a great workout and a sad start to the day because I've got no strawberries and... Poor little Frank just came in the kitchen and was waiting for me to give him some. I feel so mean. Freshly washed hair, no makeup for today's date. This pimple, we won't talk about her. I'm taking Mr. Frank and he's so excited. Little wholesome date for us today. Just quickly show you the proper fit. Kind of what I wore to that day at Dove Camp. And let's go. You ready, buddy? You ready? Yes, we're gonna go. That was the best date ever because we had little Franklin with us. I think we walked the tan. I'm gonna say we walked the tan and then we went to Gilson and we shared all our food like usual. And I already fucking missed the guy. It's very annoying what's happening to me. But anyway, Mr. Frank absolutely adores him. It's the sweetest thing ever. He was so excited to see him and it's just really nice because Franklin is such a large part of my life. So when someone's like, not someone, when the person I like or the person I'm dating is like, let's take Franklin for a walk. Let's go get lunch. We'll take Franklin with us. Like, let's do this so Franklin can come. Like, it just makes, it means a lot to me. And yeah, nice wholesome Saturday. I'm so happy. And I like low key want to like see him tonight as well, but that's probably a bit much. You're so cute. We love you. Handsome as boy. Organized some Mother's Day gifts for tomorrow and cards. I got her a massage voucher. I also quickly went past Cole. I got to buy strawberries. Anyway, we are going to fill this up. Oh, Frank's excited that I'm home. <laughs> Definitely needed strawberries, guys, but anyway. Oh, that kind of doesn't fit, but whatever. Perfect. I've been in front of my computer this whole time preparing everything for my podcast recording on Tuesday. I'm going to do three episodes on Tuesday, so I'm trying to be organized. And mum and dad were out all day, and so they just came home, and dad went to get Maccas. So I'm having Maccas twice in a row. No judgment, please. Yum! Uber dad to the rescue. Thank you, dad. Late night run for a little Maccas. What would we, what would we do with that, you honey? In my quarter pounder era still. And dad did get it with the small onions. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I owe Sam a big apology because I watched the vlog. It's coming out tomorrow. And I saw so much in it. I had to edit out a lot of my swearing. I didn't want her to obviously do that. But what the hell are they? I don't know why I was so sweary. <laughs> Nothing a hot shower cannot fix. I'm coming back to life. I was so cold. I know it looks crazy, but it's just the color of it. It goes away once you rub it in. God, sometimes I'm rough with my face. I am very sleepy. We walked quite far today. I'm very proud of little Franklin, but I feel like it's taken it out of me. 
Crushman had a nap. Franklin had a nap. Adele did not have a nap, <laughs> but it's all right. This will be in the monthly favorites next time. It's the balm version of the mask. Quite chunky. Nails it every time. Good night. Catch you guys in the morning. It's pretty cold tonight. Again, Franklin with me. <laughs> Good morning. It is Mother's Day. We have given mum her presents. I made her a coffee and we are heading out for breakfast today. She's just out of the shower so I can't film her. I'm gonna get in the shower in a sec. Little Franklin is rugged up in his blanket. Just popping his hoodie there. And look at this. I feel like I didn't get any pimples during my period this time, but got one today, woke up with this, and this one has been there for a few days, which very annoying. I've covered that one and I've covered that one and can't even really see it from a distance, thankfully. Happy Mother's Day! Thank you! Quick fit check, everybody. Well, that's cutting off our heads. I'll go first. Bye. Connor's. Tajay, the white top. Tajay. <laughs> Levi's the jeans, sketches the shoes. Oh, let's go. We're having breakfast at this really cute place in Parkville. I got a hot chucky. Dad got OJ. Mum got a coffee. Breakfast is served. Dad's on the croissant. Mum and I, egg and bacon. Oh, I love a good croissant. Very predictable from Mum and I. <laughs> What are you doing, Mum? Just stacking the plates. Just helping, helping. <laughs> we are at the zoo. That's what Mum wanted to do for Mother's Day. And we're waiting for a car park. And the guy just came out and gave us his ticket and says there's three hours left and there is because it's got until 2.30. And that's just so nice. That was really, really nice of you. Lucky girl syndrome, but also like the world has good people. We are here. Oh my God. Welcome to the zoo. Welcome to the zoo. I haven't been here since I was a child and it's making me sad. It's beautiful in here. Look at them all. So pretty. Look at that one. So pretty in here. I could just stay in here. This is a nice one. He's really cute. We're at the giraffe enclosure now. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, he's kissing the other one. He's right up. Oh, he's annoyed the other one. <laughs> so cute. They're like big horses with long necks. Their body is the same as a horse. The real giraffes. Good practice for Europe. Getting mum and dad to keep up with me. They came and slept here once. They did like an overnight stay. And they're like, we slept here. We, t we went through this gate. I'm like, kitties. <laughs> That's a Tasmanian devil. Oh my God, it's going. We're in the reptile enclosure. Look at that. I'm scared. This is crazy. It's not friends. It's alright, Dobby. It's alright, sweetheart. I think he just wants to get out. Look at this. Giant turtle. Oh, so cute. And the last one's the meerkats. You guys are cute as. And we are done now. So as I was saying, I did feel a little bit sad and I have just quickly looked up like what kind of conservation they're doing. But as a kid, when you come, you just see the animals and you're like, oh my God. But as an adult, you suddenly notice that the enclosures are very small. You notice how tiny the space is that they're given. And then, I don't know, I'm having like a bit of a, I don't know. I think they do a lot for conservation. Some of them are endangered and extinct. Well, not extinct, endangered. And so they are conserving them and looking after them and trying to make sure that we keep them from becoming extinct. Very interesting. We got Uber Eats because we are not cooking on Mother's Day. We're not Day. making mum cook at all. There are some things that are for tomorrow for lunch because we haven't done grocery shopping as well. So we ordered Japanese and Thai. Yes, we did that. <laughs> oh, who got the soup? I know it looks like a lot of food, no judgment please, but this is what we're working with. <laughs> it is leftovers. <laughs> Enough for tomorrow. tomorrow, there will be leftovers. That was the perfect amount of food. We all have lunch for tomorrow. And that goes for myself, mum and dad. And now I'm just in a slight food coma. 
but I want to have a shower and get out of these clothes. Little Frank is sitting on my lap and we are just watching some television. The vlog has gone up and I'm feeling not Sunday scaries tonight because I think I've had a low key weekend, but I didn't get anything I wanted done in terms of like groceries, washing the sheets, that reset stuff. So I'm going to do that tomorrow. We're getting ready for bed now. I did have a hot chocolate. My room light's gone able and I'm ready for sleep because I've had a chill weekend, but I've done a lot of walking. It's just really taken it out of me. I'm going to regret so badly sleeping in these PJs because it's cold, but we're going to sleep. I did end up hacking into this. Don't do that. Don't follow my lead. <laughs> I just had to. Okay. I will see you guys in the morning and I just want to say I hope that if you had a hard day today, I'm thinking of you. I know Mother's Day is not a good day for everybody. It can bring up a lot for people. And so if that's you, I love you. I hope you're okay. And it's a new day tomorrow. Sweet dreams. Happy Monday. Good morning. Hi, Frank. Oh, I just woke up. Franklin doesn't want to get out of bed. He's literally just crawled back in. We've got to get up. I got a meeting this morning. I did. I need a coffee. We've got to get our shit together. I've got to wash the sheets. I've come good. Had the coffee. And I'm ready. Well, I'm not ready. I'm getting ready. We're going to pop this set on to go do a workout. And I'm also going to film my workout for a TikTok this morning. We have this set on. It is still a little revealing, but I'm not PMSing. So I feel like it's all right. <laughs> I'm leaving the camera here today because I'm going to start uploading the footage for Sam. Workout is done. I'm back home. We have no strawberries still because I haven't done the groceries. That's on my to-do list today. And then... Before I jump in the shower, I actually have a meeting with Elite 11 because I'm doing something very exciting. I'll tell you guys about it in this vlog and I can't believe that I'm getting this opportunity. But I'm like so stoked because I love Elite 11. And so, yeah, I'll tell you about that later. And I need to have a shower, but I don't think I'll wash my hair now. Maybe I'll wash my hair tonight because I'm going to wash the bed sheets as well. I put a load of washing on it. I have so much to do today. I just had a quick little catch up with Jazz as well. We formally or officially announced the launch date for the collection. Ah! Well, we announced the name and the launch date. I'm taking off my bed sheets. The collection is called Dream because you guys know I really believe in creating the life of your dreams. And that's like one of my life mottos. And also this whole thing has been a dream. The whole project, the whole business venture, the collaboration. It's a dream for me. And so it launches May 26th, which is a Friday, which I told you sneakily in the last vlog. There will also be a preview of the website up and that website will hopefully be live by the time this goes live. So I'll put it in the notes. And the other thing I want to tell you is if you shop the collection, please, please, please use my code LOVEADELLE because I thought I wasn't going to get a code for it and I thought I was going to have to give you a disc different discount. But please use my code because it will save you some money. Obviously the pricing, everything will be on the website. I'm also going to do a Q and A for Jazz on her Instagram about the whole collection in terms of like jewelry care, how to make the pieces last, why they've been created the way that they have, why I chose the designs and things like that. And I'm so excited. I'm really nervous. Jazz told me she's nervous. I wasn't nervous. I was more excited. But when she said she's nervous, now I'm nervous. Washing of the sheets, but also so much other clothing. This is this current situation. I've just washed dad's work clothes. I'm going to try and sort this out today. So here's a before after coming in a few hours. <laughs> Everything is on schedule. It's currently lunchtime. So I am preparing what we had for dinner last night. I've just popped some rice in and then I've got a rib, which oh, delish. I feel like I can put them both in at the same time. That should be all right. I've got my camera set up and I've got my food and I'm gonna do a TikTok live while I'm eating. I did a live yesterday and I really liked it. So I'm gonna do another one today. Why the hell not? By the way, this tastes so good the next day. Love when leftovers just hit even better. Oh, yum. Doing a live at lunch is like doing a mukbang cause like you're eating while replying to the comments. And I never go live at lunchtime ever, but I had like 500 people on the live. Crazy. All right. I think we're going to quickly shower, get dressed into like non-active wear 
and go do the grocery shopping. I've got to wait for that load of washing to finish first too. Wasting no time. I'm staying in my fit and I'm taking these two baskets to the laundromat. Wow, why can't I speak? And while they're drying, I'll do the groceries. I think that's an efficient way to do this. Somehow, I actually got all the groceries done, dried that those two baskets, and I'm home by 4 p.m. Not ideal because I'm still behind in like my actual work, but I just wanted to help mum because we didn't get a chance to do it yesterday. I still have a heap of washing to do, which I can just put on, and I'm going to jump back in front of the computer. I did leave the camera here to charge, so that's why I didn't take you with me to the shop. But fridge looking stocked. They only had these. Very frustrating because I like the full size, but hopefully they chill before dinner because I really want one. And then pantry probably could do with a clean. That's messy. <laughs> Being an organized clean and actually making the bed right now because we're not doing it at 10 p.m. I simply refuse. Bed is made. Mum just making dinner for us. Nice outfit. <laughs> <laughs> and now it's dinner time. Oh, that's <laughs> hot. <laughs> You're right. He just touched the um. I, I picked it up with my hands. Look how good this looks. I'm gonna dig in now. Look at that. That's Hello. love in a plate. They're hot. They just came out the air fryer. Oh yeah, they're steaming. I've put Franklin in his crate for the first night in God knows how long. I feel bad. Honestly, tomorrow night he's not gonna be sleeping in his crate. I want to try to get him back into it. So tonight's the night. I've just wrapped up the Ask Me Anything. My energy was a little bit chaotic tonight because I had Jazz and I doing work for the launch over text. Elite 11 announced the exciting news, which I'm going to quickly tell you, is by the time this vlog is up, the applications will be closed. The applications will close on Friday, but they are doing an end of financial year campaign and I am the model for it. And so they are running a competition for 10 of their community members or my community members to come along and be in the shoot with me. So applications have opened tonight and Elite 11 announced it tonight. And then I did the AMA. So I had a lot happening at once. And then we ate dinner at like 7 p.m. And then I was still doing the washing. And oh, wait, let me show you the washing. From this morning to now. Well done, Adele. No, I'm not washing my hair. I am going to curl it. Maybe I'll wash it tomorrow morning because I've got an event tomorrow night. And yeah, I just don't think washing it now is the right time. So tomorrow it is. Good night, everyone. I'll see you in the morning. That's better. Good morning. I have to wash my hair. It's very early, as you saw. We're going to the podcast studio. I actually have a wild day today, and I'm very nervous because I'm having a sleepover tonight. So you guys are going to have to come to Crush Man's. <laughs> it's stressing me out. It's our first sleepover. <laughs> Hair and makeup done. I'm gonna touch up the hair once more once I've had brekkie because usually straight after I wash it, it goes a bit frizzy, annoying. But let's pick out a fit and get some food into us. If everyone playing along, it's like quarter past seven. I'm doing all right for time. Little Frank was fine in his crate as well. Oof, what to wear, what to wear. So tonight we have a movie premiere for the new Fast X movie, Fast and the Furious. And Crush Man is my plus one, which I asked him because I was like, oh, he might like this movie, like, I'll see. And he was like, yeah, I'll come. And I was like, he's very supportive, which is just very foreign and very cute, but it's going to be a late night. And so he's like, just stay at mine. I was like, mm, okay. I'm scared. Not scared, but I'm just nervous because it's like a extended period of time. It's what I want, but like, it's just the first time. Bit of a throwback to the corporate era. <laughs> Haven't worn this in ages but I was gonna wear the white one and then I remember Derek saying don't wear white because it fucks up the lighting but let's have some brekkie do my journaling and jump in the car we finally have strawberries again thank goodness because look who's been missing out the past few days sorry sweetheart enjoy we are here at the podcast studio it's pouring rain outside I'm also in my car didn't catch the train today because I need to go somewhere right after here. I'm going to go past Northland and I also realized while I was driving, I'm like, fuck, why do I feel so tired? I didn't have a coffee. I got straight in the shower. Now I'm coffeeless, but I am meeting Amy, who is my guest today on Your Safe Space for a coffee at 9.30 and then we're going to record at 10. So I'm going to go meet her now. This weather is trash. I'm just fixing my hair. <laughs> I got rained on. I and thought, bro, oh, yeah, is that so? Yes, yeah. it's a travel straightener. 
you could make tiny little like toasted sandwiches in there. Just like, you could <laughs> could iron your clothes. <laughs> Potty is done. I am just at Northland. I'm in the car park. It's pissing rain. I'm going to quickly run in. I'm not going to take the camera and I'll show you what I get. I did order two tuna rolls on my way. That's going to be my quick lunch. I will show you what I got in a sec. They put a smiley on the back. So cute. Our dinner's at 5.30. So it's currently one and I don't want to eat. Is that cucumber? Mm is what I got. I bought knee-high boots because I really wanted them. I don't own a pair. I own the velvet looking ones which are over the knee. These are just like knee-high and I really want to wear them tonight but I don't know what to wear. <laughs> that's the other thing. I don't know what I'm wearing but I know I want to wear these shoes. So that's what I wanted to go pick up. I just got them from Novo. They were actually quite cute and they look really good on. I'll show you. So now I'm going to have a meltdown about what to wear. This is option one. It is that blue top, that skirt, blazer and then I've also got the knee high boots on let me just show you in the mirror who's watching me <laughs> I always thought that this dress would be a vibe but it's just it's just not I need to iron it but this is a little bit better I'm just thinking I should wear pants so I'm ready I ended up wearing what I kind of originally had on this top I've been running around I do have the shoes on I'm gonna wear the trench coat it does actually look good <laughs> got my little overnight bag packed as well sleepover at the man's guys I'm nervous as fuck let's get in the car and let's go because I need to get fuel and I need to also buy a toothbrush because I'm not gonna take my electric toothbrush I'm gonna take a portable one morning team it's 6 25 i did not come back to say good night after i did my skincare we're gonna head home i might go back to sleep or i might have a shower and go to the gym i am tired i could go a coffee i'm craving one especially after not having one yesterday and we can debrief on last night also i slept so nicely because he was like beside me but i definitely kept waking up being like oh my god where am i I am back home. I've had a coffee. I'm awake now. Also had a quick shower just to like wake me up because it was an early start. I've got this fit on and we're going to head to the gym. I'm in such a good mood after yesterday. I am fighting for my life. I'm so tired. I don't know why. We went to bed at like 11 so I didn't have less sleep than usual but I'm just really tired. Maybe I needed food before I came. Anyway, I'm on my third exercise. And we're gonna keep pushing. Workout's done. I am feeling a little better now. I realized I left my coat in here as well. Oopsie. Time to eat. Got to tell you guys, this is the door of my car. I ever so slightly scraped our mailbox the other day because I was distracted and I don't know if I can get that out. I will contact Mazda because I have the paint protection on it to see or if this actually needs to go to a panel beater because I am really annoyed. Like I definitely feel like I don't know if I've cut the paint. I don't know. Look who's here when I get back from the gym. Hi. Back to the letterbox. What happened was when I had gotten home from buying a Mother's Day card on Saturday, it was like 4 p.m., there was a massive accident at the corner on our street where one car had T-boned another. There were police everywhere. The street was closed. And so I was looking at that instead of watching where I reverse. And I reversed into and scraped the letterbox. I didn't talk about it on here on Saturday because I was embarrassed and I was really annoyed at myself. But normalize reversing into your letterbox. <laughs> I wish I wasn't even looking at that accident. I don't know why. I was sticky nosing like an idiot. Frank is very happy we have strawberries. Oh, sorry. I nearly dropped it on you. The only person that I can handle chewing is this dog. No one else. Mum's coming. We're just going to go for a quick walk. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Grab your lead. Quickly, thank you. Back from the walk, I'm sweaty. About to log on for a meeting with Sam. Look at the state of my bed, trying to find an outfit yesterday. We shall not talk about that. Meeting with Sam went well. I obviously jumped in the shower as well and I have done my makeup because I've got to film some content and I've ordered Uber Eats. I ordered a 
bagel for mum and I because mum doesn't work Wednesday so it's her day off and I need to go past Bunnings, get something for the garden. I'm in the middle of uploading footage as well. What I wanted to say is Sam and I, you would have seen even with the Jazz Handmade video, even with the Have Lunch With Me, we've done a little bit of like different editing and I guess I'm just wanting to like up level the channel and make sure that it is entertaining and fun to watch. I know that I have a very chatty nature and my vlogs are very chatty and they will stay chatty but I want to obviously be able to just like give you a better viewer experience and so I'm always open to feedback or open to suggestions if there's anything you want or need from the channel that I'm not giving you. We have our Uber Eats on the way. Got Uber Eats! Mum's in her bagel era as well. <laughs> Aw, they gave a smiley face. That's mum's. No, jalapenos. <laughs> That's what I say. It. It's jalapenos. <laughs> Should we cut them in half? Because um, I think I did that last time. Just taken a bite, but this one is probably my favorite. It's the southern one from Bakes and Bagels. From the Bakes and Bagels menu. My, I need to get mum to try myelin because mum's <laughs> gone ham on hers. I have. This is the first time I've had this one. It's bloody delicious. What do you think about it? I like it better than the salmon. Yeah, it's good, huh? Also, made the mistake of eating a bagel in that video and the fucking seeds all over my mouth. So fucked. I'm so sorry, everybody. I also had some PR delivered from Lipton and Tokyo Lamington. We're going to do a video maybe on TikTok later or I'll do it in the YouTube vlog and I'll show you this. I love Lamington, so that's why I said yes to it and also Lipton. We all know Lipton, so... I'm very, very curious. It smells good. I want to open it now, but this thing is very hard to undo. So we're just going to quickly pop out to Bunnings, Mo and I, and then we'll come back and try this. We're looking. <gasps> yes, yeah. we're going to buy the. Yeah, they hadn't sprouted yet. Our carrots hadn't spout, sprouted, guys. So we're going to cheat and we're going to put <laughs> these in. <laughs> Carla said I was loud. I called her. <gasps> Don't grab them those. like that. That's okay. How am I going to get it out? Is that enough? Grab two, I reckon. No, that's too many, honey. What do you mean? How many carrots grow it's from heaps. there? heaps. Look. You want two? Yeah, I do want two. Do we really got to get a little box or something? Yay. Anything else you want to plant in there? Look, you can even buy a wasabi plants. That's crazy. And they have strawberry plants here. Guys, strawberry plants are so good. Once you have one, well, our one has just kept growing every year. So I recommend investing in one of them if you want. Now we're going into the actual set center. What do you want, Mum? Down the barbecue area. What do, we don't need a barbecue. No, we don't. I just want to see something. What are you looking for? <laughs> Mum's <laughs> like a child in bunnies. I love bunnies. She can't be stopped. Take her wallet away. <laughs> What'd you get, Mum? I got a jumbuck. Portable dome barbecue char grilled. Do we need that? Nah, but I wanted it. <laughs> twenty dollars. Like what's twenty dollars? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Precious cargo. Put me, put me little carrots in. We are home, and Mum and Dad ordered a treadmill off Amazon, and so literally have a treadmill which we're going to set up hopefully by tomorrow. So I'll show you in the vlog. I'm going to head back to the shop now because I need to go past the PR box. I have a brand deal due tomorrow and it got delivered today, which that's probably not enough time for my liking, but your girl's gonna hustle and she can do it. I can squeeze it in tomorrow, so I'm gonna do it. And we're gonna go now. I need to go to Chemist Warehouse too and to Coles, so it kind of works out anyway. Should have done that while I was at Bunnings though. I'm back home, went to the post office, went to Chemist Warehouse. I got gifted something I had no idea I would be getting from GHD. It's a limited edition Sunkissed Rose Gold Wide Plate Hairstyler. They've gifted me this. Let me compare it to the other one. So this is just wider. It's the same, it's the same length, like that way, the plate. You can kind of see that there. And almost the same that way too. This one has been so good to me. Literally, I got it for my 21st birthday, I'm pretty sure. I love the color. Then I got a pedal and pop delivery. Jazz sent me the rest of my jewelry, the ones that we were waiting, well, that we were waiting for. I just had samples and that's it. I can't believe I got this. Mum, can you believe it? What yeah. the hell? Well, I'm actually cooking dinner at the moment. Well, I'm just on bread duty. I'm having some pods while I do it. I'm just browning the bread. Mmm! I'm good. I am going to do a giveaway at the end of this YouTube vlog. I'll explain at the end though. So just keep watching until tomorrow night. <laughs> Okay, look how good it came out. 
We actually cooked that on the barbecue tonight, not the one mum bought. The one mum bought is right there. Still putting it together. What's happened to it, mum? I'm not playing, it's too hard. All right, it's we'll, too hard. We'll, we'll it's, use that one too next time. Mum and I got it and we didn't realise it was in a square box and <laughs> it would need to be put together. <laughs> Our dinner was delicious, 10 out of 10 for mum. Yeah. Nailed she it. She slayed it. She did. Now, this is the little clippy thing on the bloody lamingtons. Very difficult to open. Oh, I've just opened it. It's old school technology. OG Lamington. We're gonna actually do a taste test of this on TikTok tonight. This can be our review tonight. I think we have some other thing to do. Yeah, but this one can have priority. Fresh Lamingtons. The Lamingtons were 10 out of 10. Go to a pop-up. It's a Tokyo Lamington pop-up in Melbourne and Sydney. If you can get there, get there. Cause no joke. Mum and I are gonna go back because yeah. we need the other ones. <laughs> Look at even the pastries. We have to go. Oh, Look at the treddy, guys. Oh, it's not fully set up yet. It holds 120 kilos, has like all the speeds, 12 programs. This comes up a bit more thick. No, yeah, there to that side. We're gonna keep Frank away I'm from sure it. This flips, but I don't know how close you want to push to the wall, but we'll leave it like that for now. Got my hot chucky, mum has hers. How are we going in here? Nothing quite like a Flat pack or a setting um, up of something to I'm test just trying to find a, a marriage sink or an oil chamber where I put oil in. I'm very excited to sleep in my own bed, but I tell you, it was so nice sleeping in the same bed as Crash Man last night. Something about someone like cuddling you until you fall asleep or like waking you up with like cuddles and kisses is just so nice and. I really missed it. I haven't had that in such a long time. Yeah, I realized I didn't debrief this morning, but it was good. As for the movie, I did enjoy it, but halfway through, this man came over, my B reel went off in the movie, and my phone was on silent, but he saw the like light, like the phone light light up, and my brightness was down, and he came over, he's like, turn your phone off now, like in front of everybody. I was so embarrassed, it was at the jam factory. And I was like, oh, like, I'm not on it. Like, it was just a notification. And he's like, it needs to be off. And when we got there, because we had gone from dinner, everyone was already seated and the previews were starting. So I must have missed the start when they said, you have to turn your phone off. And I think he thought I was recording, but I wasn't. And he was like really, 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 really nasty to me. And he kept making a scene and I don't like getting told off. And I was getting really embarrassed. And like, I was almost like borderline having anxiety. And Crush Man could see that I was like, starting to panic and he was like leave her alone she's not gonna go on her phone and he like stood up for me <laughs> and defended me and i wasn't even on my phone anyway that kind of just like ruined my mood and then i couldn't focus on the movie it was really it really rattled me and yeah i don't know i did give like feedback to my manager but I don't know if it was universal or if it was just a security guard. I'm not entirely sure because we watched the movie on the Tuesday and it's coming out on the Thursday. So we got to see it first. But yeah, kind of just left a bit of a sour taste. But now Crush Man and I just laugh. He's always like, turn your phone off. <laughs> Good night. I'm going to have to sleep by myself. Sad. Frank's in his crate. See you in the morning. Good morning. Happy last day of the vlog. I've had a coffee and I've just been sat in front of my computer for the last hour and a half i had to finalize all of the influencer pr packages for my own collection i was waiting for them to look the selected influencers to send me back their selections some of them did some of them didn't so i'm just going to pick what i think that they might like it is so fascinating being on the other side and obviously i understand both both sides of it and then Jazz and I are working on the website as well and I have to write product descriptions for everything and I've got three more product descriptions to write and then I have to get ready because we're going to go and have a business meeting this morning and then I'm getting my eyebrows done. So I've got to leave the house in half an hour. I'm really cutting it fine. I'm still in PJs, haven't even gone to the gym, haven't even gone for a walk. We can worry about that later. The weather is shocking and cold. What's new? We're in Melbourne. And so I'm going to quickly jump in the shower, rug up and then try and finish this before I go. We've got a jam-packed day. I am ready. I just had a quick shower. I've got this on and I also have long brown leggings on because it's cold and we're going to head off. I'm going to take you with us. So let's go. Coffee meeting went really well. We're now heading to our eyebrow appointment because it's not too far away. I'm in Armadale. So let's go. Brows are done. Thank goodness. Looking nice and fresh now so we can go home and 
film the pedal and pup content. That's what I have to get to M today. Elite 11 have also just sent me over the short list of finalists for the photo shoot. And I don't know how we're going to pick because we had so many applicants and we're only picking 10 people and I wish we could pick all of you. I didn't think I was going to have a say in it, but they're letting me have a bit of a say. And I'm just looking at all of you and you are so stunning and beautiful and I want to pick you all. I can't believe how many people applied and I'm so excited for this shoot and for this campaign. You guys will not believe it when it comes out. It's incredible. Hello, I'm back. Come here, bring me a toy. Hi, sweetheart. I did brush my hair. Who have I become? I just know myself I will feel more comfortable doing the content with clean hair because it got a little bit greasy very quickly this time around. I must have put too much product in it. Or maybe I need to try a different shampoo and conditioner. Anyway, I'm excited for dinner. I will feel more calm once the content is done. I should have approval on this pretty much straight away because I've read the brief and it seems pretty straightforward. This will be my third time working with Petal and Pup. I've done only Instagram posts before, but this one is a TikTok. The website should also go live and I'm starting to get nervous, like the nerves are starting to kick in. I also really miss Crush Man and I only saw him on Tuesday. I'm in a lot of trouble, in a good way. I'm quickly just gonna do a quick face and then come back to you. Oh my God, the website is ready. She looks cute. All done. I'm just going to start straightening my hair. Running so good for time, you guys. Okay, it's ready. It's ready. It doesn't feel very hot. Oh no, it definitely is. Oh, okay. So, key difference between this and my other one is that I can just get more hair in it at once. So, I guess. It would make my hair straightening quicker. I want to see how it goes with the underneath because I don't know if you guys ever realized, but I did shave under here, like right under here, like these bits here. I, re I regret doing this. See how they're so small? I didn't shave it. My hairdresser did. I let her though because she asked me. And that's when I had really, really short hair because we didn't want the back bits to like flick on. And I'm just trying to grow that out to like a normal length now. Don't do an undercut on your hair, okay? Don't be like me. <gasps> oh, I like this straightener. Have I just replaced the old one? Oh, I do like the old one. I think the old one will be for curling my hair. I did put heat protector in my hair, by the way. Yeah, I can't fault this. This is good. Thank you, GHD. Slight mix up. I've gone and opened the package and it's not what I thought was in there. <laughs> so I'm just confirming with M what I'm doing. Anyway. My hair and my makeup came out great, so not wasted because we are going out for dinner. I can't film that content because I need to wait for the other items to arrive. Anyway, it's actually better because I was panicked when it arrived yesterday and then I was going to have to film it today because usually I like to have a couple more days up my sleeve so I don't have to rush with filming or rush with editing. I did end up just going to plant the carrots as well in my nice outfit and I was trying not to get dirt on me but we're gonna head off for dinner soon so I'm just looking at the jazz website let me quickly show you I'll link this as well in the notes of the YouTube video and this will go live on May 26. I'm at dinner I am gonna leave the camera here I think so I'll see you when we're done we're going to New Quarter on Swan, Swan Street in Richmond and I've heard good things about it, so I will give you a review when I'm back in the car. I'm home, sweetheart. Hello. Hi. How was your night? I will show you something. Oh, Dad, it's Why? all right. It's all right. We don't need to see it. Why did they put a spring here? Because it killed my fun to get the screws in. Dinner was so lovely. I caught up with one of my old staff members from my last corporate job. She was one of the girls I hired right before I resigned. I felt so bad because we had worked together at the last company and she took the job because she wanted to take the job, but I was going to be her manager. And then I resigned about a week after training her. And so we are still good friends to this day. And yeah, it was just really nice to see her and catch up. She's killing it. I'm so proud of her. She's going really well, which is great. And we had a very yummy meal. We just shared like four plates and delicious. The cocktail I got was so yummy. I got the pomegranate sour. 
It was delicious. I just had one drink. Could have had like three of those, but I was driving, obviously. Be responsible. And now I'm going to get into bed and I will explain to you how to enter the giveaway for YouTube. And this is just a secret one for our YouTube family. So if you're watching to the end of this vlog, congrats because you are the OG and you deserve to win. And suddenly it's the end of the vlog. What the hell? Guys, good night. To enter the giveaway, it's going to be a silent giveaway. Okay, you don't need to tag anyone. You don't need to do anything. All you have to do is be subscribed and leave me a comment. The comment doesn't have to be an essay. The comment can just be one emoji. Leave it in here. I will pick a winner at random on Thursday night next week, the day before I go to Gold Coast. And it will be the last day of the vlog. I will comment in reply to you. And I will say you're the winner. Please DM me on Instagram or email me your address. Okay, you have to be all right with giving me your address. The prize will be a prize pack. I'm going to put some goodies in there. Just trust me on that. That'll be chef's kiss and i'm sure you'll love it i promise you it'll be jam-packed because yeah i really want to do one on here just for saying thanks because i love you guys and then hopefully after this i can go back to doing them for your safe space because i used to love doing those it just got really hard with all the traveling and christmas and easter and la 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 la, la. <laughs> i digress i haven't shown you the veggie patch because nothing's really happened everything's like fighting for its life trying to grow the only thing thriving is the broccoli. <laughs> I planted the carrots, so hopefully if they're alive next week, I'll give you a garden tour. I don't have any Crush Man updates. Don't have any journal updates. I'm actually waiting to hear back from the manufacturer, from the supplier. The final design is done and we are waiting to hear back from them now. So once I know more there, I will keep you in the loop. As I said the last time, that is quite far away. <laughs> I don't want to give you time frames, but that's probably not going to happen until I'm home from Europe. So there's quite some time between now and the journal. And I know I spoke about the journal over a year ago too. Just like this secret project, this secret project, it has only taken 12 months, which is the jewelry. I should also have, what else, what else, what else? I don't know what else, but I'm really sleepy. So I'm going to go to bed and yeah, I will see you guys next time. Thank you for your support and thank you so much for the response to my jewelry collection because the support has been unwavering and received with so much gratitude and I couldn't do this without you. So as much as this is my collection, it is also yours and we've done it together. So thank you from the bottom of my heart and yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.